hi guys uh, this is Olola Day. welcome to Lola Farms TV I just want to give you updates on uh, Osinachi's uh, death um, it was noted that Osinachi husband has a secret wife uh, this was revealed by one of her uh, sons during the interview with the Minister of Women Affair and uh, it's also stated in one of the reputable newspaper in Nigeria that is Vanguard anyways let's read it together so that is Vanguard. Uh, it says uh, revealed Osinachi's husband as secret wife. So that is the picture of the, I think, of the first wife and the baby that the first wife had for him, as at that time. And uh, this is the wedding picture of the first wife that he had uh, before getting married to Osinachi without divorcing the wife. Um, Peter Wachuku, the husband of late gospel music star Osinachi, has a secret wife outside of their turbulent union. Vanguard ran authoritatively report. Wachuku is believed to have wedded the woman with whom he shares a romantic relationship in a church, but in the union from Osinachi and her family. The romance which began before Umwachuku sought the end of the late gospel artist in marriage is believed to have gone south after the woman bore a child for him. These facts came to the fore when one of the children of the deceased gospel star found an old photo album hidden in his father's room. The child, whose name is withheld for apparent reason, said their mother had suspicions that their father was having a secret affair but could not lay her hands on any concrete evidence. Narrating how he discovered the photo album which exposed Mr. Uwachuku's secret, the kid said, one day my father was away and forgot to lock up his room. So I entered and a voice within told me to exploit the room. Then I saw the album and out of curiosity, I opened it and saw daddy's old photographs. From the photos, I could see that my dad lived a wayward life. So I closed the album and kept it where daddy hid it. I couldn't tell mommy or anyone because I was very afraid that daddy will kill me. If he found out that I knew about the photos. Mommy once tried to search for things like this album in daddy's room but could not find anything. Meanwhile, after the child brought out the hidden secret album for the world to see, the already distraught relatives of the late gospel singer were shocked to know that Mr. Peter Nwachuku was either to married to another woman in a church long before coming for Osinachi's and a marriage about 10 years ago. A family source also told Vanguard, we never knew Nwachuku was previously married to another woman. If ever we knew about it prior to now, we may not have allowed Osinachi to marry him. Osinachi must have been through a lot of pain, which she unfortunately kept away from us. It will be recalled that the 42-year-old 40, Osinachi died last Friday after spending days at National Hospital in Abuja. Colleagues of Osinachi, who was a lead singer at the Dunamis International Headquarters, Abuja, accused her husband, Peter Nwachuku, of beating her to death. However, the husband was arrested by the police over alleged culpable homicide. Meanwhile, a post-mortem examination will be carried out to ascertain the cause of Osinachi's death tomorrow. That is uh, Wednesday at the National Hospital Abuja. Wow, guys, this is so sad. This is so pathetic. It's really, really painful. This woman's death, Osinachi's death, is just like onions. It's like onions, the more you peel it, the more you cry the more you peel it the more painful her death is the more you peel it the more sorrowful the more the more sad it is you know this woman this woman just tried to save a marriage that is not even existing she tried to save a marriage with a man who is married to another woman so it means peter wachuku was married to another woman and um and uh and osinachi married to another woman's husband 
you, you, you guys can you, can you see how how wicked this man is this peter wachuko is so peter wachuko should should have been with his first wife and the marriage with osinachi was not even valid at all because peter was married to another woman who has not divorced peter has not divorced the first wife you can see the picture the picture is there the marriage picture is there their wedding picture is there and uh, uh, maybe the name ceremony picture is there where the wife the first wife was carrying the baby and she he has never divorced the woman it's so it's not us that she was civil free all this why she was free to live that toxic marriage even without a divorce because in the first instance there is nothing like wedding or there's nothing like marriage between osinachi and peter so she she was free she could have even just you not know, left that marriage without any divorce without any anything she could have just left her marriage because you know she married another woman's husband without being aware she's not aware of their marriage so the, the marriage is even built on lies on deceit it's built on lie on sit on, on deceit so she just suffered for nothing she suffered for nothing try to save a marriage that is full of deceit and built on lies trying to save a marriage that is void that's invalid that is not existing she just died for nothing died for nothing you know i could not see this message that uh their pastor or maybe their pastor's wife guys because this is what their pastor's wife wrote that never make divorce an option at all really really that divorce then the pastor said divorce is not allowed under any condition so does it mean that if um if osnachi knew that uh, um, her husband was married to another woman with a child so does it mean that she will not they will not allow her to divorce because i believe that this is the type of sermon they make in the church that's why she decided to stay in that toxic marriage that's why she said to think that god will work on it god will perform wonders yeah god perform miracle god perform wonders but you will at least save your life first leave that toxic marriage leave that toxic relationship you save your, your life come first you can go and be praying from outside you separate separation does not mean divorce separate from, from the man or from the woman and look at this that's the type of someone they are preaching that divorce is not an option but now she's dead she's gone because i believe that if the church knew that the the uh, peter has already married i'm very sure that they would have made that marriage invalid they would have make it void she just stayed in a marriage to save it and make it work without knowing that the man is another woman's husband i don't think she knew that a husband married to another wife yes it, it, from the from the from the um from that message that we read on vanguard they said that she was suspicious that her husband has an affair she was just suspicious but she couldn't lay her hands on anything she couldn't lay her hands on anything she was suspicious that her husband is having an affair can, can you just be this you know it's so the the Osina, this osinashi story make you know it, it just makes me so sad and weak because the more information or the more story you know you get about it the more painful her death is she just wasted her life for another 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 woman's husband suffering living in pain and agony for absolutely nothing died for nothing died for another woman's husband because with all this revelation now that man is not a husband <laughs> that man is not a husband because the man has not divorced the first wife so this she just died like that just died for for nothing and she has been living in pain she has been living in her body in pain uh, you know I, I went i went back to check all her videos go you guys go and check her videos you will see that in all her, in all her when she when anytime she's ministering or she's singing she always cry she always cries no you'll be thinking that oh is it that she yes she was worshiping god and maybe the holy spirit is moving yes but in that soul you will see that it's she was singing with pain in her heart she was singing with agony with with sorrow in her heart 
go and check uh, because i have to go and check all at least most of our videos go and check all the videos go to our youtube channel check all the videos you will see sorrow in her heart seeing yes she's worship she's worshiping god but she, you feel you see that sorrow she always cry anytime she's ministry or she's singing she always cry she always cry anytime ah father lord this oh anyway guys no i just promise you guys i will be bringing updates to you you know anything that comes up about uh this issue of osinachi and her husband i will be bringing it to you any update i will just bring it to you i'm really really so weak i'm sorry i'm being emotional about it because it's actually painful it's actually painful and i will always say to you guys i will always say to you guys please please if you are going through anything your marriage gone are the days that you will keep quiet gone are the days that you will keep quiet don't keep quiet it's not the matter if they said that oh you are talking about your husband you are spreading his information around or you are spreading information of your wife around there's nothing like that there is nothing like that please speak out speak out this is high opener for everybody eye opener for everybody and mind you there is also emotional abuse it's not only physical abuse there is emotional abuse there is mental abuse and those two especially emotional abuse and mental abuse they are silent killers they kill very fast they are silent killers and emotional abuse and mental abuse they will you you can't sue anybody you can't arrest anybody it's only physical abuse that you can arrest because physical abuse is okay oh he beats you or she beats you but emotional abuse or mental abuse if the person stop and die that is the end they can't sue anybody you can't arrest anybody please if you are not happy in your marriage just leave leave find your that's why as a woman find something you will be doing don't just sit down and say oh my husband will do this my husband will do that be an asset yourself empower yourself anyways guys thank you very much for joining me today thank you for watching this channel uh if you are new to this channel please guys kindly subscribe to this channel kindly support me and i pray that god almighty will continue to support you as well for my returning subscriber coming back to watch this channel god bless you guys and i pray that almighty god will grant you all you have desires in jesus name god bless you i love you all i will see you guys in my next video bye